Okay, have you ever wondered how to use your laser cutter to make one of these? Well, I'm going to show you how. Um, a lot of laser cutters can be driven using uh, straight out of the program Illustrator file. So that's what I'm going to show you how to do to create an Illustrator file that will create this effect. So a tree um, inside circles and it's all cut out of one piece of material and I'll show you how to do that using Illustrator tools. That's quite simple. So let's put this aside. What we want to do is start with uh, finding a tree. So to bring an image into uh, Illustrator, the, the best way is copy it into a folder and then go File, Place. So here's one I prepared earlier. Now this tree that I've brought in um, will do fine for what we're trying to achieve. You can see that all the branches are um, radiating out towards the outside and they'll connect to a circle like this. It's probably a bit more complicated but that's okay. But one thing you'll notice about this image is it's a bitmap. It's a raster image. So if you zoom in you can see it's pixelated and we can't cut that uh, with the laser cutter, we need to turn it into vector paths. So it needs to be smooth um, vector paths able to be cut by the laser cutter. We could engrave this, uh, but it wouldn't create this effect that we've got here. So, how do you do it? You bring the image in. When the image is selected in Illustrator, it gives you these options up the top. The one that you want to choose is Image Trace. Click on it and straight away it will turn the raster into a vector image, into vector paths. Now I might just tweak that a little bit and I can tweak the tracing of that image here in the image trace panel and I can turn the threshold up and you'll see that a few more branches appear so it's increasing the number of branches that it's going to cut that are going to be included in the image and I'm happy enough with that. Once I've traced it the way I want it to be I need to expand this and once it's expanded I need to separate out the white from the black so at the moment if I drag this over here you can see that it has um, white fill and black fill and a black stroke. So what I want to do is get rid of the white fill. How do I do that? Right click, ungroup, control click to deselect, grab the magic wand, click on the white space and delete the white space. You can see now if I drag this over to the off the artboard that it's just the black space of the tree the black fill is the only thing that's left and the black outline. In fact, I tell a lie, there's no stroke and there's only black fill. So what we want to do is now put it inside a circle and attach the branches to the circle so that it's all in one. So go to your ellipse tool, find roughly the center of the tree, hold Alt Shift and drag. Alt Shift means you scale the circle from the um, the center and obviously that circle is black fill we want it to have no fill and black stroke then I want to create another circle concentric so I can start this one alt shift in the center of the last circle and that will make a concentric circle so alt shift click and this one needs to intersect with the branches uh, as many as you can, as many as you want. It'll make it stronger when it's made. And you can see I've made two concentric circles. And now I need to figure out how to connect this circle to this one so that they become one object. And it's a lot easier than you might think. Select them both, shift click, and then go up to window. Pathfinder and what we want to do you can just hover over it for the options to see what they are unite minus front intersect exclude 
the one that we actually want is right here at the end called minus the back. Now if I go minus the back, it subtracts the image at the back from the one in the front and it's also joined their paths. So if you zoom in here, you can see that these paths are all connected now. Okay. So that's almost finished. You can see up here though, we need something to put um, the chain through that we're gonna hang our pendant on. Um, I might just make that a little bit more delicate. It's a bit chunky. So Alt Shift Scale, bring it in a little bit. And I'm gonna create a circular hole for the string or the chain to go through. So grab the ellipse tool again, Alt Shift Drag, looks about right, and then Alt Shift Drag, looks about right. And what I want to do is to join this shape with this one, and I do that by using the Unite option in Pathfinder. That will now work on the laser cutter. And just check to see that there's no um, bits that are going to drop out. There might be a few in here, but really we want these sections here, um, these bits, to, to drop out. So that'll drop out, that'll drop out, and we'll be left with a nice pendant that looks like this. So that's how you do it.